I'm Kelvin from Round and Search. Finally, that we are doing the video for theoretical opening. We have uh, received a few of these uh, comments and also requests from our uh, viewers that want us to cover on this topic. How does it work? How does this system work before the market open? How do they determine the price when the market is open? So basically, theoretical opening for this theory, the system, how they calculate is usually used for the pre-open market in the morning or maybe after the afternoon break, which is around like at two, around two o'clock, or maybe before the market closing during the matching time hours. So bear with me with this uh, video because uh, I need to ex explain on this uh, theoretical opening because it's, it's a bit difficult for me to explain to you guys, but I'll try my best to do it. After you understand this, you find it's not that difficult to understand, okay? All right, so let's take a look into this theoretical price. So basically, they have four principles to determine whether the price to open up higher or lower than the previous day, or maybe it will open same as yesterday closing, okay? So there are four principles over here. So the first principle will be maximum executable volume and also establishing the minimum surplus. And the third uh, principle will be ascertaining where the market pressure exists. And of course, the last one, which is the fourth principle, will be consulting reference price. Refer reference price here is actually uh, meaning to say the yesterday closing price. So what does all this mean over here? Let's take a look into each of it one by one so that every one of you will understand better. So from here, you can see the table of the first principle. Usually we refer it as R1, the maximum executed volume. So from here, we assume that there are uh, three buyers in the market. Let's say we put it as uh, uh, we are the ba banana buyers. So we want to buy bananas in the market. So you are willing to buy the bananas, 2,000 of uh, unit of this banana at one ringgit. And also for myself, I want to buy at 5,000 unit, which is at the price of 90 cents. Bob will be 5,000 at 80 cents. But in the market, there are just uh, one seller, which is Lucy. She's willing to sell 10,000 unit only. But the cumulative volume that we have from the buyer side, you can see from here in the table, there are 12,000. So from here, which means the selling quantity, the maximum that it can be executed for the transaction, the buy-sell transaction is only 10,000. So in this case, the 10,000, which is fall to the seller price at 90 cents, and this will determine the pre-open market uh, price. So when the market open, if let's say nothing changes, then the market will open at 90 cents. Right, so from here you can see from the first principle, if let's say there is easy to fulfill one side from the seller side, that's the maximum executable volume, then it's simple. If let's say there are cases where the buying total cumulative volume is equal to the total cumulative selling volume. So if these things happen, then we need to fall into the second principle. So right now, let's take a look into the second table. So second principle means that establishing the minimum surplus, which means that we have to find the lowest quantity shares left in the market. So in this table, we can see the minimum shares that left in the market, we can see is at 80 cents and 90 cents, which is the surplus of 2000. So from here, we ignore the negative sign and also the positive sign. So we just need to find the lowest quantity left in the market. So in this case wise, the uh, price will actually determine at 80 cents or 90 cents. So if this case happened, we find that there are two price is the same of the lowest, the minimum surplus, then we will have to fall to the third principle. Then the third principle, which means that we have to ascertaining where the market pressure exists. So from here, we can see in this table, we need to look into the cumulative volume. So we use cumulative buying total volume, the quantity, 
minus of the selling quantity volume. So from here, we can see there are a surplus of 2,000. So surplus of 2,000. So right now, the third principle, we need to look into the plus minus sign, which is the positive or negative, which means that surplus or maybe uh, negative. So if let's say from this case, we can see there is a surplus. So from this surplus over here, we can determine the price is at the buy side because this is the, where the market pressure exists. There are more buyer, more market pressure in the buying side. So from here, we can determine the price is at one ringgit for the market open, or we can call it the theoretical opening price is at one ringgit. If let's say the uh, surplus is actually a negative 2000, then we'll fall under the selling side pressure. So from that case, then our theoretical opening price will be at 80 cents. But of course, up until this point over here, if we still have the same uh, total cumulative volume or the surplus is equal to zero, then we need to fall into the fourth principle. The fourth principle will be consulting reference price. So what does it mean by consulting reference price? This is very simple. If the R1, first principle, second, and third principle, we can still cannot decide what is the theoretical opening price. Then for the fourth one, the last one, very simple, we just follow yesterday closing price. Okay, so this is the theoretical opening price, uh, how the system works. Okay, so that's all here for today. Hope every one of you enjoyed this uh, theoretical opening uh, video and I hope every one of you understand. If let's say you're still uh, not sure how it works, you can leave us a comment or maybe you can message us in our Facebook page as well. And for those of you who want to open a trading account and start trading, you can log into our description. I have uh, input a link there. You can actually click on the link for account opening, trading account opening. So uh, I'll be your reminder from there. And uh, if you have any question uh, for the account opening, you can always contact us. And of course, if you like us, don't forget to share this to your friends for their knowledge of uh, in investment. And also don't forget to like us and subscribe to our YouTube channel and Facebook page. See you next time.